So classically speaking, the yield curve is referred to as the two-year U.S. Treasury yield versus the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield. And a normal, healthy, functioning economy, you should see a positively steepening yield curve. It just makes a lot of sense. I've used this example before on the podcast. If you're going to borrow money for a day, it should be cheaper to do that because it's lower risk because there are payments so soon than if you're going to ask someone to borrow money for 10 years. Right? If you were to want to borrow money for 10 years from me, I would, I would want a nice interest rate because I'm locking up my capital and taking term risk. I'm taking 10 years of term risk. Whereas if you want to borrow money from me for a week, I'd say, oh, well, it's a week. Just here, I'll give it to you for no interest. Let's not even worry about the paperwork or any interest. Like, let's just Good friend. That. Good yeah, friend. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully I get one of those loans soon. <laughs> yeah. So that's the whole concept of a steepening yield curve. Well, what's really funny is in some time, sometimes in economics, you see an inverted yield curve where it's actually cheaper to borrow long term than it is to borrow short term. And that's a phenomenon that indicates there are some weird things happening in the economy. And what it's saying is that people are, it's, it's a complicated thing, but people are effectively worried about a recession. And that's why the yield curve inversion is the number one predictor of recessions. It always works. And when it usually takes around 18 months for the recession to be to take place from the initial inversion. The initial inversion happened, I believe, in March of 2022. So we're now well past the 18 months. So probably in six months from now, they'll probably go back and say that this that today right now is a recession because we have now inverted or uninverted, like you said, right? So now finally the two year is less than the 10 year. And that usually is actually the signal that we are, in fact, in a recession. So the inversion of the yield curve means a recession is coming. Then once it uninverts, that means we are in it right now.